Well, hello, beautiful people. Chloe, you look amazing. Tyler, looking sharp. But, like, how lucky are you feeling right now? Like, holy smokes. I've been waiting for my time to come. My wheels spinning like I'm on the run. I got big dreams for a number one, but I'm lost in my And here you are, Chloe and Tyler. Every step of your journey has pointed to this time and to this very place, surrounded by this great looking group of people who love you so much with the best that's yet to come. Take it Thank everyone for coming out tonight to celebrate these two wonderful people. When Tyler came into our lives, I was naturally suspicious of the new guy that was dating my sister. It didn't take him long to win us all over. And I've had the privilege of watching this beautiful relationship grow over the past couple of years. Well, Chloe and Tyler, I invite you to take just a moment and remember this day that you were married on April 1st, 2023. <laughs> It is not an April Fool's joke, friends and family. Now as you look out at uh, your friends and family, they're all here for you, wishing you so much love and support. We certainly don't want to leave out the way that Chloe and Tyler have built their life together. Because if it weren't for a gas cap, when their worlds collided one day, friends and family, we would not be here today. We worked together, but we first started talking when we saw each other at the gas station. So I left my gas cap open and he decided to message me on Instagram. Messaged me back saying, ha ha, like I'm cluttered, something like that. And he said, so how you been? I was like, oh, okay, awesome. I might have a shot here. You gotta know how much I want it. Cause I want it. And there would be a day for Chloe and Tyler that would change history for both of them. And that was when Chloe answered the question of her lifetime on January 28th, 2022. So he had a dog. I wanted another one. So he had Coco Chanel and he walked up to me with the dog and the ring was around her collar. And Chloe said yes and here we are today. Can we give it up for Chloe and Tyler? <laughs> you gotta know how much I want you. Cause I want you. We've been here a lot together. My parents have a condo and being here is very special. I went to grad school here. We love coming here. You gotta know how much I want As you know, I have four daughters and they all are special to me. There's a sweet spot with your girls when they're very young and when they're teenagers where they really want to spend time with you. Of all the four girls, Chloe really wanted to spend the most time with me. We do have a special bond and I've always cherished our time together. We are so glad to have Tyler in our family. He's indeed a very special person as everybody here that knows him knows that. Me, you may know, I know Tyler from the military. We actually met each other in 2011 at a Atlanta Braves Arizona Diamondbacks baseball game in Arizona. And this is how the conversation went. What's up, man? How's it going? All right, cool. We'll see you later. And we have been inseparable. I don't have a brother. That man right there is my brother. And we always knew when Tyler found that one, he was going to find that one. Chloe, you've been one of my closest confidants. You've been my shoulder to cry on and listen to me without judgment. For that, I'm forever grateful for you and our relationship. welcome you. We know that you are a part of this love story that we celebrate today. And so on behalf of Chloe and Tyler, thank you for being here. 
And while today is a day of great joy and celebration, we are mindful of those loved ones who, while they may not be here with us physically, smile upon Chloe and Tyler in spirit. Chloe and Tyler have had hundreds of important moments, but these moments now, so profound, and we know love when we experience it. And do we ever see it right here and right now with the two of you? You guys look amazing. It's really great to see everyone. Man, Ocala must be a ghost town tonight because y'all are all here. Since that day as they've taken on life as the inseparable team that they are, they've persevered and they've protected each other's hearts from all of their adventures to their incredible legacy of family and friends, life has just been better together. This is about the time, the speech, where I'm supposed to give some words of advice for the couple on how to have a successful marriage. Considering that I'm currently single and living alone with my cat in a Spanish Pueblo, uh <laughs> I certainly won't claim to be the most qualified person for relationship advice, but there are some things I've learned about love and life over the past couple of years. Since Chloe and Tyler are canine lovers, it only seems appropriate to use dogs for this part. Don't take things too seriously. Always make time to play. Always be each other's number one. Be yourself and be an open book. Always be excited to see each other. Nothing beats the feeling of walking through the front door after a long, hard day and being greeted like you are the most amazing person in the world. If you make a mess, don't rub each other's noses in it. <laughs> and finally, if at some point you decide to have your own litter of grand puppies, I know my mom and Amy will not complain. Her face I've never seen, her body close to me, and suddenly there's no so sweet and like he'd do anything for me. I love him so much and I'm so happy and excited for today. I love you and I cannot wait to just the rest of my life with you. Chloe has been the light of my life and today I'm handing her over to Tyler. I know that he'll love her and treasure her as much as I do. Here's a toast to the happy and healthy life full of endless love and laughter. Chloe and Tyler, here we are, because that now brings us to this very important moment, because it's with great joy here in front of all your friends and family, and by the authority vested in me by this state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, another moment we've been waiting for. You may kiss your bride.
So you look at your girls. And you Tiffany, you're honestly terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, <laughs> she really leaning in. She's like. <laughs> look at each other and try not to laugh. <laughs> Can we start this over? Don't spit. In it's the like bathroom. their worst nightmare. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Just like a nice tap, nothing weird. Oh, we're gonna save the weird stuff yes, for video. There you go. Cool guys. Oh, he's got. He went weird. <laughs> You're a man. <laughs> You're a man. <laughs> we're still going. Yeah. <laughs> You're awesome. Cool. So. Oh boy. This will go in the private album. With Wade's encouragement, who was with Tyler at the time, Tyler messaged Chloe about this. Subsequently, Tyler then asked her out. This then went out um, to be Tyler's fifth date ever. <laughs> it appears that, that, that Wade has a little side hustle um, as being a matchmaker. So if y'all need any help, he can help you with that. <laughs> yeah.